Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the animator to read you another story. And I have a book tonight about one of my favorite things to do. In the springtime, when it starts to get a little windy, there's something I love to go outside and do. And that is fly a kite. Have you ever gone out to fly a kite? Oh, it's so much fun. And our book tonight is called Kite Day. Woo! Kite Day. This is a story about Bear and Mole. And Bear is like sniffing around and he says, wait a minute. It's getting windy. That means it's Kite Day. And him and Mole build this kite. But something crazy happens. And we need to get into this book and find out some of the stuff that can happen when you go out on a kite day. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy and Bear and Mole? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Kite Day, a Bear and Mole story by Will Hillenbrand. Bear looked at the sky. Hmm, could it be, he wondered. I wonder what he's seeing and what is he wondering about? He tilted his head. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. He's sniffing the sky. He smiled and then shouted, Kite day! Oh, he must realize it's going to be a windy day. It's a kite day. Bear rushed home. Huff, puff, huff. Huff, puff, huff. He's running all the way home. Come on, Bear waved to Mole. Kite day is here! And there's his friend Mole digging in the ground. But it's time to stop digging and get running because it's kite day. Bear collected. Mole studied. Bear snatched. Look, they're collecting all kinds of things, reading a book called How to Make a Kite, and getting together all their craft project stuff. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed! Wow! Look at they worked together to make a fabulous kite. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Look, it's a perfect windy day. A perfect kite day. It soared up, up, up. <gasps> but then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh no, it's starting to storm. There's thunder and lightning and rain. The breeze grew into a gust and then snap! The kite string broke. No! The kite string broke. The kite's gonna fly away. Away, away, away spun the kite. Oh no, all their hard work. It's flying away. Oh no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down. Down, down, plunged the kite. It's coming down. It's going to crash. Save the kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. Look, they have so far to run to try and get the kite before it crashes to the ground. <gasps> Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. Oh no, it's stuck in a tree. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeaked the chicks. <gasps> Look, the kite fell in the tree, but it's right over top of a nest filled with baby birds, and it's protecting the baby birds from the rain. Thank you, sang the mother bird as she returned to find her babies all nice and dry in their nest. Wow, that was really special. Bear and Mole made this great kite and they were having so much fun. But then a storm came and the kite string broke and the kite flew away and they followed it and they were so upset, but they saw it landed in a tree and look, it was protecting the baby birds from the rain. So the kite turned into like an umbrella for the birds, which made everybody happy. They couldn't fly their kite anymore, but they could protect the birds. And that was even more important than flying the kite because they were helping somebody else. I like this book. I like that we had fun with Bear and Mole. 
I like that they got to go flying their kite, but most of all, I like that they got to help somebody else. They help the mommy bird protect her baby birds. That's what's most special about this book. I really liked it. I can't wait till I can go fly a kite. And if my kite breaks, I'm going to hope that it lands in a tree and can protect some birds. Then I won't be sad about my broken kite. You should think about that if you get to go out flying a kite. If your kite string breaks and it flies off, don't worry about it. It's probably in a tree protecting some birds. That's a really good thing. This has been a lot of fun. I'm ready to go out and fly a kite. But not tonight. It's too dark. We need to get into bed. It's time for all my little bears to get under their covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow I want you to wake up, and if it's a windy day, say, Mom and Dad, can we fly a kite? And if they say yes, go out and have a great time. If they say not today, that's okay. You can do it another day. But whatever they say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.